Sins? No. You, yourself? No, no, that, that. Okay. What's your faith, yourself? Uh, I, I believe in God, but I don't have faith. I don't, I don't have a religion. That you, I were you born in certain faith, like in any... Uh, yeah? Well, I was born in Alibi. Alibi, okay. But I, uh, from a young age, I've just... Uh, I disagreed with a lot of things within it, so okay. throughout time I just stopped following it. Okay. Now, if I told you a few things about Islam, which makes sense to you, yeah. will you accept to be Muslim? Today. Okay. Things make sense to you, not to me, to you. I have a lot of questions where and, and I will answer all your questions. No problem. Will you accept to be Muslim? Yeah. Today? If I presented Islam to you in a way that makes sense to you, that you understand it, and if you ask your questions and I answer you, the question makes sense to you, will you accept to be Muslim? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah? Okay. Fine. The first, first of all, you said you believe in one God, yes? Yeah. There's a creator of the heavens and the earth. There's, you believe in that. Now, what is the purpose that we are created here on this universe, on this earth? Okay. Let's say, but while in this period, before returning back to God, what's our mission? What's our duty to do what here? Eat, drink, reproduct? Or we have a deeper meaning for our existence? Let's say to serve God. That's the minimum thing, to be grateful to God. Yeah? You agree? Yeah. By the way, does that apply to you? If, uh, if I answer said question, will you accept to be Muslim? Yeah? Does it apply to you? I have another. I have another. I feel like I shouldn't accept this stuff. I haven't read the Quran. No, well, I, will, I will answer this yeah, question as well. Thing, yeah. I will answer all these questions. All these questions. Please uh, call Jabi. Call Jabi. Brother Muhammad Jabi. Yeah? Jabi. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so I will answer all your questions, and this applies to you. You are not sure, so let's let's stick to these two guys, yeah, yeah. So I will I will I will present certain things about, and and then I will answer your questions. And if it applies, if if you believe that this makes sense, yes, then after that we'll do the next step, which is you officially to be a Muslim. Yeah, you agree? A deal? Yeah. Deal? Okay. So you said something which is profound. Yes, we are here to serve God, meaning we are here to be grateful to the, to the Creator. If our parents who give birth to us, we should be grateful to them, yes? Yeah. So God, the Creator, we should be more grateful to God. Am I right? So our deeper meaning here is to be grateful to God. Now, being grateful to God, is it according to what we think is good or according to what God wants from us? So not we think, for example, some people say, you know, I'm good to my neighbor, I'm good to my mother, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I have a cat, I feed my cat, I, I'm grateful to God. Yeah? Or according to what God legislates, what God, he has to tell us how to be grateful to him. Yeah? So you agree? It should be according to what God wants. Yes? So in order to know what God wants from us, he has to communicate to us, to tell us. Yeah? We can't just guess. We can't keep wandering around. So he has to communicate to us. How he communicate to us? He will send prophets and messengers, one after another, and will send them with a message from him, teaching and educating people how to be grateful to God, how to serve God. Does that make sense? Yeah. Make sense? Okay. That's why God has sent the prophets and the messengers, and like Noah, like Abraham, like Moses, like Jesus, like Muhammad. All of them, they were sent by God, and God has as well sent with them miracles, sent with them proofs that they are sent by God. Proofs that they are sent by God. Like, for example, we know the miracle, for example, of Moses, peace be upon him, that he was able to, he will throw the stick and turn, turns into a snake in the front of people who are aware of magic. The magicians, when they saw this, they said, this definitely is not the work of a magic. This is something 
something they never came across. So that's why they are the ones who submitted to God, the Creator, because they knew this is definitely, it's not magic. You agree? Yeah? So the same thing God has sent Jesus, peace be upon him. He was a prophet sent by God. We believe in his miraculous birth. He was born with no father, with no mother. But what is more miraculous is the, is the creation of Adam. He was born with no mother and father and God has created them. And Allah has clearly mentioned in the Quran that the example, <coughs> the example of Jesus, like the example of Adam, God, he said, be and he became. So they were created by God, created in a way that God directly created them in a miraculous way. Does that make sense to you? So far, makes sense to you, yeah? Now, that's why God has sent every prophet and every messenger, God will send them with, with the proofs, with evidences dictating that those are prophets and messengers of God. Now, we say that God has sent Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was sent as a prophet and messenger of God. Now, now us three here, we are on one page, that there is one God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, that he has created us for a purpose, is to serve him, to worship him. And then we, we are on one page as well. Yeah? And we are on one page that Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, they are prophets sent by God. Now we come to the point of Muhammad. If I prove to you that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a prophet and messenger of God, and the book, the Quran, which is the, this is the translation of the Quran, the Quran is sent by God. In that case, this is what is Islam. If I prove to you all of that, that Muhammad is a prophet and messenger of God, secondly, that the Quran is the word of God sent down to Muhammad, peace be upon him. It tells us that this is the faith of Islam, is the true faith. And after that, both of you, you will be accepting Islam. Am I right? Yeah? Yeah? Clear with this? As he said before. Yeah. I would feel more comfortable reading the Quran. I, I, I will, will come to you with a question. We'll, we'll, come, we'll come to all the points of the Quran. I will come to you. I will tell you why, why what, I, what I'm just bringing. I'm just bringing points, by the way, because we need to affirm that this Quran came from God, and then after that, affirm that Muhammad peace be upon him, is sent by God, yeah? Now, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was sent 1400 years ago. He was illiterate man, was unable to read and write, and God has inspired to him the Quran, the book of the Quran. Now, the Quran came in Arabic language. The language of the Quran itself is so sophisticated, so profound, that made the Arabs at that time to be amazed that this word, it cannot be said by a human being. I am an Arab myself. When you be, when you reading the Quran in its original language, you will be mesmerized. The way that it, the structure of the wording, the way, the way that it is itself, the grammatical way, the structure of the wording, it is in a poetry way. It is in a melody way, meaning that, that the Quran itself the sound of it is like singing. It's, it's so beautiful, so profound that made the Arabs 1400 years ago to know that this book, it cannot be said by someone. Brother, can come to the side. Yeah. It cannot be said by someone who is illiterate, who is not a poet. He is not educated and yet he will say these words. Yeah. Bear in mind, Muhammad, peace be upon him, before he was sent, he was known amongst his tribe that he is the truthful person, he is trustworthy. Even all the time they used to, when they have wanted to trust something, they will put it in his house to protect it for them. Yeah, and he used to do that and he was trustworthy and he was someone who would say the truth. He was known with this. And something an overwhelming evidence is talking about him, about the personality of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah, we are on one page so far, yeah? Now, after that, the Quran as well. What's your name, brother? Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. And your name is? Kir. Kir. Aaron and Kir. The Quran revealed in, in Arabic language. You may not appreciate how great is the language of the Quran, but, and even when you read the English one, is translation of the Quran. Translation. Now, the Quran, yes, it is translation, what you have here. But it has information. This information, this information, it cannot be said by someone who is illiterate, someone who is illiterate, sent 1400 years ago. It's impossible. Impossible. Yeah? 
And I will tell you, for example, yeah? now, for example, have you been to the sea before? Have you been to the ocean? See the ocean? What is the deepest point any diver could dive 1400 years ago? They said they could 20, 30 meters, let's say. Yeah? Can anyone dive beyond this? Without equipment, without anything, just to go down deep in the ocean. Now listen to this. And, and bear in mind, Muhammad, he lived in Mecca, in a desert. So when the Quran came to him, they said, and listen to this verse, this is in the Quran. Those who are away from the guidance of God. Yeah? I will show you the verse, by the way, just read it and, and then look at it now here, open. One second. <laughs> yes, Surah An-Nur, verse number 40, verse number 40, yeah, Surah An-Nur, verse number 40, 24, 24, verse number 40, yeah, read this. Yeah. We need, yeah, I want verse number 39 and 40. Look at this. Read this, brother, and read in loud, in loud. Yeah. 39 and 40. 39 and 40. Loud, please. For those who disbelieve their deeds are like a mirage in the lower land, which are firstly one thinks is water and so yes. When he comes to it, he finds there's nothing but finds Allah before, and okay. he will pay him in full in full. Yes. And Allah is swift in account. Yes. Or they are like darkness within an unfathomable. What? In? Unfathomable sea. Unfathomable sea. Means an ocean, deep ocean. Which is covered by waves, upon which are waves, over which are clouds, darknesses, some of them upon others. Yes. When one puts out his hand. Out of his pocket? He can hardly see it, and he to whom Allah has granted light, for him there is no light. Let me explain. So God is saying, those are who are away from the guidance of God, they are like someone who is deep in the bottom of the ocean. Above him there is a wave. Above the wave there is another wave. Above the sea there is a cloud. Even if he put his hand before him, took his hand out of his pocket, put it before him, he will be unable to see it. Darkness upon darkness, and whomever God didn't give him the light of guidance will be will have no light. The point is, when the sunlight comes, so, yeah, and if it's a cloudy weather, forty percent of the light will be reflected back, and only sixty percent barely go through through the clouds to the sea. And if there is the sea, have you have you studied any physics? No. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what does the waves does to the light? If there is waves, if there is a water, still water, the light could go in. But if there is waves, what will happen to the light? It breaks the light. Yeah? The, the waves breaks the light. Yeah? So could be half of that, whatever remains of that 60%, half of that will barely go through the waves. And here, everyone, if they go to the sea, they will appreciate the surface waves. They could see it. But we discovered recently that deep in the ocean, there is another layer of waves. They call it nowadays the sea current. Yeah? Yeah? You know the sea current underneath the, underneath the sea. Underneath the, the, sea, the sea surface. And it travels in a different direction. Yeah? And they found as well certain oceans that they have Two layers of sea, they will find a, a water different than the water down with its, uh, with its condensity, with its salt and its temperature, they are different. So they are like, and when they move the, one, the, the, uh, the lower waves, they move as well in the waves in a different direction. Yeah? 
So when this waves, whatever light comes in, the surface waves will break the light. Whatever remains, when it goes into the ocean, another wave goes in another direction, breaks whatever remains from the light. And deep in the ocean, absence of light, pitch dark. Even if a person will take his hand out of his pocket, put it in front of him, he will be unable to see. This is in a time people used to think the eye could see by itself. God is inspiring to Muhammad, peace be upon him, this information, which is only discovered recently and give us an indication actually, the light is the one which we enables us to see things. The question is, who taught Muhammad about this fact? Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Who taught him? Is it an incident? Is it coincident? Let's talk about other things. Like when you sit in the night and you look to the sky and you see the stars. Do you see the star currently? No. What do you see? Sun. No, in the night, in the night. When you, when you, when you, when you are in the night, you look stare at the stars. Yeah, when you see the stars in the sky. Are you, are you seriously seeing the stars now? No. What do you see? Clouds, nothing. Now, you see history. You see? The stars, because I will tell you what's happening. These stars are millions of light years away from us. Yes? When the light depart from these stars, until they reach our eyes, it takes them, what? Millions of light years to come to us. Yeah? This is, these are recent discoveries, yeah? Recent discovery. Yeah. These are recent discoveries, yeah? Are you Muslim, right? Yeah. Now, which means by the time when you stare at the, at the star, you are seeing the position of the star. You are not seeing the star itself. You are seeing the position of the star when the light departed from it that time. Am I right? Yeah, do you understand this? Yeah, for example, just like consider for there is a car traveling from there to here. You see the car there, but that by the time now, the car already moved there. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah. So the same thing with the star, when the, when the light departs from there, until it reaches your eyes, you are seeing the position of the star. Do you know why? Because the universe is expanding. Yes, you know this? The universe is expanding. And that means the position of the star is expanding, is changed over a period of time. Yeah. Which means within these millions of years, that star which you are seeing is there, yeah? You need to wait another millions of years, or one million or whatever, and then you will see its, its current position now. You see the point? Or this star could change into black light, into black hole, meaning they die after some time and then they change into black hole. Now, in the Quran, talking about this, Allah has said in the Quran, Allah making an oath by something in the Quran, tells us about this, something is important. Allah has said in the Quran, فَلَا أُقْسِمُوا بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ And I don't make an oath by the positions of the stars. وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمُ لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عَظِيمٌ And it's a great oath, but you are not yet aware of it. Same to the Arabs at that time. You are not yet aware of it. At that time, what is the knowledge of the people about the stars? Only directions, yes? They never know. Later on, which is a recent discovery, a couple of hundred years ago, that actually, that this universe is expanding, and these stars are millions of light years away from us, and God has mentioned this in the Quran. We have created the heavens, and we are expanding it. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Does that make sense to you, my brother? Does that make sense to you? Answering your question. Do I need to read the whole Quran to become a Muslim? No. We need to know that this source, this information came to us from someone who's a truthful person and brought to us information which is miraculously coming to us. It cannot come to, for, for a, a layman person. It cannot come to someone who is even a well-read person at that time, let alone of someone who doesn't have access to knowledge and is unable to read and write. You understand means unable, he's unable to read the Greek work. He cannot read and write. He's illiterate. He is illiterate. Does that make Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be a prophet sent by God? 
from what you're saying, yeah. All what I said is mentioned in the Quran. That's why this is the teaching of the Quran. What you have agreed in the beginning? Yeah, what you have agreed? If what I said to you makes sense to you, which already made sense to you, that today you will be accepting Islam. Am I right? That was our agreement. Am I right? Yes? I'm That's still, the agreement. I'm still... I've still got a lot of questions that are not coming to mind at the moment. The journey of Islam is a journey of learning. So you start with what you know, yeah? Meaning, you know now, there's one God. You know now Muhammad is a prophet of God. Am I right? You know now this. Now accept this. Embrace this. And then I am there for you to teach you, to help you. If you have a questions, you come to me and I will answer the question. There is no hidden information in Islam. There is no information for certain people and other people do have, do have it. The information is available for everyone. It's a journey of learning. That's why we actually... Sorry, yeah, what's, when, what's the false gods in Arabic? False God? How do you say in Arabic, false God? Uh, 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 they, they said they call it God. Uh, um, I'm just in, a, in the middle of something. <laughs> Give me. Give me something. Alihatun Allah. Allah says Alihatun Allah other than God. Yeah. So, my point is, so that's it's a journey of learning. Not all Muslims have read the whole Quran. It's for you to know. Yeah? Brother, uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't disagree with anything it is you're saying. I have more so personal questions within my own life. Yeah, I don't disagree with anything in the book. Your personal question, as I mentioned to you, I understand, I came from Alawi background, I totally appreciate the struggle that you may go through. I understand. We have Ali, he, was, he came from Alawi background. Yeah, you know that? Same background yeah. as me. Yeah, so he came from Alawi background. So I understand the struggle that you may go through. I totally understand. But now, do what you know, embrace what you know, and move to the next step. That's how it is. So embrace what you know. Things that you know, just do it. Stick to what you know. And after that, whatever you face, you do the next step. You do the next step, and so on and so forth. So the first step is the shahada, to testify there is no one. Where did to be worshipped except Allah? Allah in Arabic means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. That's all. This is the first step. Next step, I need to learn how to pray. I need to know what's the meaning of this. I need to, this is, these are steps. And that's something, that's our duty as, as teachers, to teach you and to educate you and to answer your questions. We'll be not there and we'll be, you will be taking our details, our number, you call me at any time, you ask your questions, I'm open for the questions. But you do step by step. And our, we were to have agreed in the beginning, if, if you know this, if it makes sense to you, take this. And then after that, that comes, and then we'll, we'll be helping you. We'll be not away from you. You understand? So that's why, let's do the step that we have agreed upon. That was our agreement. I'm ready. You ready? Okay, you ready? Okay, repeat after me, my brothers. We'll say it in English, then we'll say it in Arabic, okay? Yeah, no problem. We'll say it in English, then we'll say it in Arabic. I testify. Testament. That there is, there is no one, no one worthy, worthy to be worshipped worship except, except Allah. And I testify, and I testify that Muhammad, Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger of, Allah. of Allah. Let's say it in Arabic. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illa Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulu. Allah. Allah. Allah Akbar. <laughs> my brother. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, my brothers. Allah, we are happy for you. Today, today, they need a hug, brothers. Come on, hug them. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> you see my brother this is the beauty of islam see here all of us came from different background what unites us is islam yeah what unites us is islam we came from different background different colors different culture what unites us is islam this is the beauty of islam and you are welcome to two billion muslims on earth those are your family those are your brothers and sisters in Islam. That's the beauty of it. The other thing, which is another glad tiding for you, that anyone who accepts Islam, yeah, 
that all his previous sins is wiped. <coughs> they will be like <coughs> they will be like a newborn baby with no sins, inshallah. <coughs> that is the beauty of it. We are happy having you as brothers in Islam, and this is a great thing. This is the best thing that you have done today, like you are born today. That's why now it is your duty in Islam, you start high. All of us here were sinners. You are, alhamdulillah, all your sins are wiped. That's why, that's why you are now the best Muslims working on earth. That's the truth of it. Because Allah Azza wa Jal, this you start fresh. That's why you need to maintain that. You need to maintain it. So what we'll be doing, inshallah ta'ala, we'll take your details. We'll invite you to teach you how to pray the salah, inshallah ta'ala. We do it, and I will do it in Regents Park on Wednesday. So if you, are, you, are you available Wednesday evening? Yeah. <coughs> Wednesday 6 o'clock, yeah? Come Wednesday 6 o'clock, inshallah, around 6, 6.30. And then I will be teaching you, inshallah ta'ala, how to pray in Islam. And then we'll be slowly, slowly teaching you. And I will get your details, inshallah, in a minute. We have the anchor wanted to give you some yes, gifts. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. What about him? Yeah. Oh. What's this? <laughs> and perfume. <coughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah, my brother. You are doing a good job. I ask a lot of <laughs> Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters, that I ask Allah Azza the first of all to accept from me and accept them. And may Allah Azza keep them steadfast upon the true faith of Islam. Alhamdulillah, that Allah Azza enable you, as the Prophet said to Ali, that if Allah guided through you just one person, it is better for you than even the red camels. Alhamdulillah, that Allah Azza wa enabled me to bring those brothers to Islam. May Allah Azza accept from me firstly, and may Allah Azza keep them firm upon the true faith of Islam. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. What? Is it possible to Islam? Yeah, the Alhamdulillah. Where did the sister went? Uh, she just went to her friends. Okay. I wish she stayed. She would have witnessed. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Please, thank you. I've given them your number. They're going to drop you a text message. Okay, inshallah. Please. Okay, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. What I will do, Abdul Samad, I will add you to the uh, to the right path group. No problem. And add the brothers there, inshallah. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Brothers, take take my number. Sorry, take my number as well. No, what I'll do is give me your number again. Uh, here, here. 07. Five zero four. Five one three. Five one three. Five one three. Zakhir Allah khairan. Allah barakat. This one is your one, yeah? Yeah, this one, yeah. Okay. It went to voice now. 0754 Yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me. Look at my back, say, save my name. Hello, Abu Rakata, Sheikh Muhammad. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I have a question from one uh, uh, sister from Lithuania. Uh, she's married and uh, they got, recently they got a baby girl and uh, she named her uh, a kind of traditional Lithuanian name. And the uh, meaning of that name, the literal meaning of that name, is, uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct translation. It's like greenery or kind of like uh, She will come in a minute. She wants your throat. Wait for her here. Or, uh, feel, which is green. Okay. Add them. I'll bring them a prayer mat. No, you know, no, no, inshallah, we'll, we'll, we'll do something for them. Okay. Today, uh, uh, Jabi, Jabi, is there prayer mats by the entrance? 
Can you give me two, please? Jazakallah khair. Did you record this? Okay. Okay. Is, it, is it fine if we don't upload the videos on YouTube? We will blur it if you want. Do you want me to blur them? Uh, no. Just is it fine if you just don't post it? Uh, that, up to you, whatever, whatever is good here. Because we already recorded it, but we could ask the brother to blur it. That's, we could ask them to do that if you want. Uh, no, I, I prefer it not to be on YouTube. Khair, inshallah. Okay. I will ask the brothers, because they already been recorded. I wish you told me in the beginning that I will tell them not to do it. I wish you told me earlier. Because uh, some of them, they already went now. But let me see. I will try to speak to them, inshallah. The other thing, what's your personal thing? What, how can I help you? What questions? <coughs> I feel like what you said was right. I feel like I continue Yeah, you was right, yeah. It's a journey. As a mission to you, my brother, the Islam is a journey of learning. Journey of learning. Every day you learn something new. And what you need to do, the good, the best thing in Islam, is when you learn something, you implement, and you do the next. That's how it is. So you know today the Shahada, you take it, and then you, you embrace it, and then you do the next step. The next step is for you to learn the Salah, how we pray, five daily prayer. So I will invite you to this one. Today. You know Regent's Park Mosque, uh, yeah, Central I've, London Mosque. I've prayed before. Yeah. Uh, use this I will teach you, will, will, will teach you. I will, I will give you a better option, inshallah. I will get you now a prayer mat, a guided prayer mat. That's, it will help you how to guide you. Yeah. And, you know, when, when we record this, by the way, for a reason, because we wanted, there are many people, are, some people watching it. You may encourage them. Yeah. Some people that are going like the struggle that you have. And I came across many Alawis, especially Alawis. They struggle. Then inside them, they believe in Islam, but they, 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 they can't come out. So this encourages them. Yeah, so, you know, to be honest, it's been like that for like two years for me. I know. Uh, I have a lot of family disagree. You will find always disagreement, yeah. but you need to remember, my brother. Think about the followers of the prophets and the messengers. Do you think their own people agreed with them in everything? No. Some of the, the Prophet وسلم, his own uncle, was opposing him. Yeah? No, Alayhisam, his son didn't accept that. So here, now it comes to the point to say, who, what's your priority? Is it Allah? Or is it my, my father, or my brother, or my sister, or my son? Who's the priority? Then, if you know that the priority is Allah, then stick to this. Yeah? Here, this is the guided prayer mat for you. Bring it on Wednesday. Yeah? Come this Wednesday. 6.30, come and I will come, we'll teach you. If you come on that day, the day of, just take a shower, a full shower, yeah? And then uh, before you come, and then after that, we'll come and we'll, 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 uh, we'll teach you how to do the Salah. And then we'll go through the steps of the Salah. But make sure that you come this, uh, you come this Wednesday, all right? You drop me a, me a message? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you message me? Okay, inshallah. I will give you, I will send you a reminder. But as well, you remind me as well on Wednesday that we're going to be, we start the session at 6.30, so be there a bit earlier, you know, at Regent's Park Mosque or Central London Mosque, yes? If I have any questions, can I text call you? Call me even in the middle of the night. Anytime. Just call me. This brother took shahada as well. MashaAllah. Oh, MashaAllah, my brother. You just accepted Islam? Yeah. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. What a happy having you as a Muslim, my brother. MashaAllah, may Allah bless you, my brother. Now, uh, do you live in London? Uh, no. Okay, where do you live? Estonia. Where? Estonia. Estonia. Are you staying here until Wednesday or something? Uh, no, I'm actually leaving today. You're leaving today? Okay. All right, my brother. What we will be doing to you, uh, what we will be doing to you, my brother, will give you a guided prayer mat. Yeah? We'll give you a guided prayer mat. This guy prayer mat, it will teach you how to do the salah, how to pray the salah. I will... Uh, okay. Brother, can you go with him by the entrance of the, of the you know, uh, of the of the park? Uh, leave the camera here. I will look after it. Take him. Go get a prayer uh, a prayer mat from the from there. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, my brother. Where did she, where did she go?
you have any more guided tour maps? Yeah, I have, I have, but it's uh, by the entrance. By the, by en the entrance? I'll go yeah, get yeah. it. Which Salam Rahmat. Now we'll film. What? Outro, what? Outro, what? Outro, What's that? Talk to the assistant behind you. I already talked to her. We already talked to her. I already talked to her. We said this. Yeah, you didn't end. I need the night. I ended. I ended. Well, I said. I said this. I addressed this. But you were when you were taking the numbers. I already ended it. Uh, okay.